everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm sharing with you three super delicious I'm talking so incredible I absolutely love these meals they are my all-time favorites I know that I say that every time but I like truly like love these cozy casseroles um, that I'm making today in this video for y'all they are so tasty and delicious they're perfect for really cold weather um, and they're really easy to make so that I hope that y'all enjoy them thanks so much to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video I will talk more about that when we get into the video but if you want to be able to get yourself two New York strip steaks for free in your ButcherBox for a whole year then you better keep on watching because this deal is amazing. Let's get into it. All of the directions and ingredients are gonna be in the description box for you to check out and use for yourself. All right, everyone, so for this video, all of my meat is going to be from ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a really convenient and easy way to get high quality meat shipped to your house, to your front porch that you can use for the month. There are lots of great options. There's 100% grass-fed beef, there is cage-free chicken, there is bacon, there is um, seafood, and there is pork. I really love their meat, it's very high quality. I know whenever I am cooking it that it comes from a great source. ButcherBox also loves to support um, farmers and the livelihood of their business, so they always like to support and give back to them. I love ButcherBox. We've been using it for a couple of years now. You won't be disappointed with the quality of the meat. This month, if you sign up with ButcherBox, you're going to be getting two New York strip steaks in your box for a whole year as a thank you for signing up. Take advantage of the deal and click below and sign up. Super convenient if you don't want it that month or you need to postpone it, you can change it. You can pick a certain box that fits your family with the certain meats that you would like. It's all around a really great company. So without further ado, let's get back into the video and check out these meals. Okay, so what I am doing here is really simple. I'm starting with about half a stick of butter and I'm sprinkling in flour a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna use about a half a cup of flour and I'm just whisking it together to make the base. Um, I'm just gonna continue doing this until I like the thickness that I'm looking for and I'm gonna slowly start pouring in some milk too. You don't wanna to pour too much flour in though. You don't want it to burn and you don't want it to be clumpy. So it's important to do it a little bit at a time. And then I'm gonna pour in milk and just continue this until I like the mixture that I formed. If I need more milk, I'll add more milk. If I wanna add more flour, I'll add more flour and um, so on and so forth. Okay, so now I'm going to stir in about one to two cups of frozen corn. It doesn't have to be frozen, it could be canned. And we're gonna stir this in. I noticed that this was too thick, so I added in some more milk. And I did wanna mention that this was a recipe that I had all of the ingredients on hand already. So this makes like a really good shelf cooking meal too.
So now I'm going to pour this mixture on top of my chicken and I'm gonna mix it together and then I'm gonna take one sleeve of Ritz crackers. I put it in a Ziploc bag and then I crunch them all up so I don't make a mess. And then I pour all of these crackers on top of the mixture. You can put butter on top of the crackers if you want to. And then we're gonna cook this in the oven at 350 uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna make sure that the crackers don't get burnt in the oven though. So now we're going to cook the meat until it is no longer pink. The great thing about the butcher box meat is that it has hardly any grease, so I don't have to drain it. I'm going to cook it until the meat is no longer pink, until the onion and the celery is softened. And then I'm going to add in some tomato sauce, some diced tomatoes or rotel, and some hominy. You can also use corn if you have that instead. And we're going to mix this together and let it cook on the stove top for a little bit and then we're gonna pour this into a 9 by 13 casserole dish with some elbow noodles or you could do some shells. Any type of small noodles will work. So this is one of my all-time favorite recipes. My mom used to make this all the time for my dad and she still does. I'm gonna brown up one to two pounds of ground beef. And so I started with one pound and then I realized I needed two. So I added another pound and then I added one large can of tomato sauce. And you can add in onion, you can add in garlic, salt and pepper. And you're going to brown this up and then start boiling some egg noodles on the side. You don't have to add anything else into the ground beef mixture. If you wanted to add diced tomatoes, you could as well. And then once the egg noodles are done, I am going to drain them. I'm going to cut up some green onions, very small. Make sure to wash them first. 
And then in a separate bowl, I am going to start mixing together my sour cream mixture. I'm using a tin foil pan here because I wasn't sure if I was going to freeze this or not and I wanted to save myself on some dishes too. So in this bowl I'm going to get together 8 ounces of sour cream and 8 ounces of cream cheese and I'm going to mix this together with my green onions and this is going to go on top of the meat mixture. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and these recipes. Make sure to take advantage of the Butcher Box deal. You're gonna be getting two New York strip steaks in your Butcher Box for a whole entire year and that is a huge deal whenever you sign up. All of the details are in the description box. I will see y'all in next week's video for some more cozy winter meals. I will see y'all next time. Bye everybody.